is Seven's Afternoon News with Melissa Doyle. Good afternoon. On this Remembrance Day, it is 96 years since the guns fell silent, ending World War I. And today, our nation lived up to its promise to never forget the men and women who fought under the Australian flag. Full coverage in just a moment. If one awkward encounter with Vladimir Putin wasn't enough, Tony Abbott has had a second this afternoon. He was seated next to the Russian leader for almost half an hour. A report from China shortly. A Sydney court has just handed down its decision on whether four police officers are to stand trial over the tasering death of a Brazilian student. And foreign security teams arrive to protect world leaders at the G20 summit, a live report from Brisbane. Good afternoon, everyone. In sport, Australia get down to business ahead of the Four Nations final, and our summer of tennis isn't far away, and Stan the Man looks in ominous form. And on the weather front, it's heating up over southern Australia, and a thundery change is making headway across WA. More detail in 10 minutes. It was once a day of celebration to mark victory in the First World War, but through the decades, the 11th of November has become more solemn to reflect on the terrible death toll from the war that was meant to end all wars. Of course it didn't, and today at 11am, the hour World War I ended 96 years ago, we stopped for a minute of silence to also pay our respects for lives lost in all the battles that have followed. As the clock neared 11, Australians gathered to remember the moment.